is 851 million. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. And look, I hope you're all doing good because Beaker and Melly and Paya. We're finally back here. Guys, we weren't here for a day or two, right? Because we had to get a haircut and we had a doctor's appointment, which went pretty good. I saw my psychiatrist. He put me on some new meds. So if I'm acting more beaker than usual, maybe that's why. No, I'm fine. I feel fine. But guys, speaking of feeling fine, you know how I've always, I've, I've talked to you guys about this. I've always had kind of an addictive personality, right? I get, I mean, Clash of Clans is a prime example, right? I, I started playing it, whatever, nine years ago, and I just could never stop. Guys, I have this obsession to collect all the magical items in Clash and really, I mean, just stack them up to the ceiling in ways that you should never really be able to do. And look, I'm gonna be the first to recognize I am so lucky. I'm so fortunate that I can do stuff like this because I'm a creator, like this is my job. We have sponsors that cover most of this stuff, right? If we wanna get something dumb, we can get a sponsor. Not everybody has that. But that leads us to today where I didn't really realize how high this was getting. Look at those gold runes. We almost have 10 gold runes and I don't think I've ever had double digits in any runes. So guys, look, get those shades on, get those shoes off. Actually, I, I gotta get them off. Hey Hit the other one. Yeah. Okay, so let's get Code Beak in there, guys. I wanted to bounce over to our other base, right? Lulu's Lab, because we've got something coming up on this base that I am so excited to do. You guys probably know what it is. Guys, while we're on the topic of spending money in Clash, I do wish everything was just like one tier less expensive. You know how they used to have those $100 packs in Clash? Well, they did away with those, which was good for my brain because I'm not gonna go into it. It was a bad time. <laughs> It was a bad time. And we didn't even have sponsors back then, so it was a bad time. This one right here, guys, it was like seven bucks or something. It should be more like four. You know what I mean? Like, I know I'm splitting hairs here, but Ruins of Gold, Ruins of Dark Elixir, they're so fun. And I want everybody to be able to experience that if, you know, they, they want to get something in Clash. Okay, guys, back over to the main base. Just to give you an example of how melted my brain is, I thought, I shouldn't say this out loud, but I'm going to because I had this thought the other day that what if the next time we have a sponsor, we tell them that we want a million gems? Would they... <laughs> the offer is simple. We'll advertise for your thing, whatever it is, but we want a million gems. Multiply that by 100. It's about 7,142.571. Okay, so that is how many US dollars you would need to get a million gems. Maybe that's a little bit on the high side. I don't think anybody's gonna just straight up give you $7,142 uh, for essentially nothing. We now have nine gold runes. And to be honest, like, does it even let you have 10? I, I assume so. Does it let you have a thousand uh, wall rings? I assume so, but there's only one way to find out. Guys, I have this long list of things that I would love to be in Clash, and you guys would agree on most of them, and they'll just never be in the game, right? Stuff like that, like being able to trade loot or being able to trade magical items. Can you imagine? You know how NFTs are blowing up right now? They have been for a while now. What if all the magical items could be traded in that way outside of Clash of Clans? Well, maybe that would open up too many ways to be scammed in the game, which you, know, you don't want that. But how sick would it be if you could trade just genuinely trade. Like, I'm not even talking for money, but if I could trade one of you guys, I want one more gold rune right now, right? But I would give you all my books of heroes or something, because I don't need those anymore. It'd be so fun. It would make Clash better. It would make it more fun. It would up the social side of the game. Am I seeing this right? <laughs> guys, so I guess it turns out the way to get loot is just the old fashioned way. You find a massive raid. Okay, here we go. So guys, we gotta get going soon. This army is just an absolute mess. I love this base, but uh, yeah, this army is an absolute mess. Wait, I have no wall breakers? What? Oh no, what am I gonna? Okay, okay. Well, we'll get those down. Uh, are you good, Siege? Are you good? I think he's good. I think everybody's good. Now, I'll drop in the king if we need. If we need some backup. We're probably going to need backup, actually, the more I think about it. Queen, what are you doing? What are you up to? I think she's okay. I think she's okay. All right, so as soon as that hero comes back out, did you guys see that? She, when she does her, her rounds here, she's going to come out of the base just a little bit. There she is. What's good? What's good? Hit it. Okay, awesome. Now, guys, we got to get going. Here we go. Oh, Queen, don't go down. No, 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 no. Ah! 
That really freaked me out. I don't know if we saved the queen or not. Did we save the queen? No, she went down. That was so bad, guys. We were so close to saving her. But I mean, I just, I, just, I was too slow. I was too slow on the draw there. Okay, so we got a lot of our troops are going over the side. I got to keep that frozen. Well, maybe I didn't need to, but I did. So let's keep everybody moving through. How about I poison that queen? Pretty good queen. Oh my goodness. Wait, we still got the siege. Where is that dude? Oh, doing nothing, dude. Doing nothing. Okay, so it's all up to the troops here. You know, I think this is why this army is so fun right now. Because in the end, if you do a queen walk and you end up at the end with these super bowlers, right? And and I mean it in multiple ways. Like you have the super bowler itself. That's what it's called. But it's also got the healers on it. They're just so good. Like they're, they're perfect in this situation. They're a little too big, a little stupid. I wish they were smaller, right? Like I wish they took up less space. But besides that, they're fun, dude. They're pretty fun. Our clan castle just popped. Okay, cool, cool. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Okay, rewind the tape on that. Was that Dragon Rider shooting a wall? It couldn't have been. That would make no sense. Guys, we just got an incredible amount of gold. I mean, everything really, right? But the gold, we almost got 2 million gold when you add in the bonus. That's almost two wall rings. I mean, we still got 611 more, but it's all good. Dude, it wasn't a wall. It was... I should have known. I should have known. It was an, a trap that was like underneath balloons. Okay. All right, guys, so welcome back to the base for the main event. I'm your host, Beaker, and look, we gotta try to do something stupid, whatever it is. And just because we have untold riches in here, it doesn't mean we can't just spend a little bit of loot that we farmed today. You know, that's not a little bit of loot. In fact, at any other town hall, that's an incredible amount of loot, right? We got uh, almost 6 million, uh, 9 million, a ton of dark elixir, but at town of 14, man, it's just a money pit. It's an absolute money pit. Like, we have to do, it's it's over a billion gold. It's something ridiculous that you need for, for your walls. I think it's like 2 billion or something. I don't even know. If I was going to put a value on all this in class terms, right? Let's just talk class terms because gold and elixir are essentially the same to us. It's all for walls anyway. They, they both upgrade the same. We have almost a billion gold here. Each one of those wall rings is worth a million gold. So we have... 600 million, 611 million. Each of those runes, whether it's gold or elixir, is worth 20 million. What's 611 million plus 240 million? 611 million plus 240 million is 851 million. Okay, so you're saying we're rich. Anyway, let's go back to the real world and spend the loot that we just farmed. Oh no, it's... It's not good. It's sad, guys. Hey, no, it's it's all good. Actually, we can do a little bit more if we get this. Let's get that. Dunk. One. Two. Three. So, guys, I had fun today, and I hope you did, too. Let us know in the comments below. I truly mean that, man. I had fun today. I just realized we may have the world record, what I think is the world record of wall rings. I haven't spent any wall rings on this base in three years. And I think almost every creator that has a max Town Hall 14, well, the walls anyway. I mean, I would assume a lot of them have, have used the wall rings that they got in uh, December. Every December, we've talked about this, they have the big wall rings in the shop. We haven't spent those in the past couple of years, right? I think two or three years. And so in some ways, guys, I guess that makes you feel better. Like we have that if we ever need it, but I really love the fact that we have gotten here. Maybe we spent a couple of gold runes, a couple of elixir runes to, to get this, but for the most part, we have farmed all these walls. We haven't used any wall rings on any of these max walls. Anyway, while we're here, let's do a little check on the boost. 39 days, dude, we gotta top this up. We got to top this up. And again, that is not from spending money whatsoever. That's with spending the most valuable thing in the game. It's even more valuable than money, medallions. Anyway, guys, this was a fun video. I feel like this might be a shorter video. It depends on how it gets edited. But either way, we'll be back here tomorrow for a pretty big one. It's going to be on our other base. That's all I'm going to say for now. Cool. We love you guys. We'll see you then. Peace. Peace.